Recently, there is a mathematical question regarding Cheryl's birthday that some adults and school-going kids alike. It was featured in various newspapers and online media. The question, as reproduced here, is about figuring out Cheryl's birthday. Let's get down to it, shall we? Albert and Bernard just became friends with Cheryl and they want to know when her birthday is. Cheryl gives them a list of 10 possible dates. May 15, 16, and 19, June 17 and 18, July 14 and 16, August 14, 15, and 17. Separately, Cheryl tells Bernard, The day of my birthday is... Then, Cheryl tells Albert, The month of my birthday is... I do not know when Cheryl's birthday is, but I know that Bernard does not know too. At first, I do not know when Cheryl's birthday is, now I know. Huh, then I now know when Cheryl's birthday is as well. What is it, man? Albert doesn't know, hence Bernard knows, hence Albert knows. Does that even make sense? Let's investigate with the help of Detective Gekpo. First, let's create a metric form with the month as rows and columns as a day. The 10 dates given by Cheryl are marked with crosses. Since Albert knows the month, we will write his name on the left and Bernard's name at the top since he knows the days. Bernard will know the month of Cheryl's birthday. If the day he told results in the highlighting of only one cross when a vertical line is drawn. For example, if Cheryl tells him 18, Bernard will know it's 18 June because it's drawing a vertical line in blue results only in one highlighted cross. Albert, however, will not know which day Cheryl's birthday is if the month he is told results in the highlighting of more than one crosses when horizontal lines are drawn. For example, if Cheryl tells him July, Albert will not know if it's 14 or 17 July because drawing a horizontal line in amber results in more than one highlighted crosses. Now, Albert says, I do not know when Cheryl's birthday is. Which is obvious, because if you draw any horizontal lines, you will highlight more than one crosses. Albert simply does not know based on just knowing the month. But Albert also says, But I know that Bernard does not know too. How does Albert know for sure that Bernard doesn't know? The answer is, Albert must know the month of Cheryl's birthday is not May or June. If it was, for example, June, then Bernard might know Cheryl's birthday is in the event when he's told 18 as established above. It don't give a contradiction, hence June is not the month, neither May. We strike off May and June. Now, Bernard says, At first, I do not know when Cheryl's birthday is. Now, I know. What is the reason Bernard say this? Take a moment and think about it. The answer is because Bernard is not told 14. If Bernard is told 14, he would have difficulty knowing whether it is 14 July or 14 August, leading to a contradiction. We strike off the 14 column. Now, Albert then says, Huh, then I now know when Cheryl's birthday is as well. Why does he say that? I guess by now many of us would be able to visualize the answer. The reason is Albert is not told August. If Albert is told August, then Albert will not know if it's 15 August or 17 August, leading to a contradiction. We strike off the month of August, leaving us with 16 July as Cheryl's birthday. Yay! And we have Cheryl's birthday! It's 16th of July. A round of applause for completing this question with us. It's time to crush her birthday party. Hey, but wait. Why did Cheryl put Albert and Bernard, as well as all of us, through this misery? Who on earth does this to their friends and expect birthday presents? <laughs>